Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope For Today. We're back on the beach this week at Hope For Today. We're in Oceanside, California, with my favorite people in the whole world, the Southwest Church staff team. We are praying and dreaming and dreaming and praying. We eating good, too. We are so grateful to be here on the beach, but also grateful to be here with you at Hope for today. We're in Exodus 14 talking about this crux that the children of Israel found themselves in and how we often find ourselves in those catch-22 moments where there's a Red Sea on our front and there's an army on our back and the question we're answering is what do you do when you don't know what to do? I feel like the Beach Boys, you know what I'm saying? Like, and we'll have fun, fun, fun till her. It's the beach. The beach. Uh, anyways, okay, let's go to the word. Exodus chapter 14, uh, look at verses 15 and 16. God is talking here and the Bible says, the Lord said to Moses, uh, why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. Lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it that the people of Israel may go through the sea on dry ground. I love this passage because what it tells me is that when I'm in trouble and when fear and trepidation is overwhelming me and when I cry out to God, these verses are a reminder that God will hear my cry. And some of you tuned in just for that today because you've been praying prayers and wondering if he's listening. You've been sending up whispers of need and desperation and wondering if he's been listening. And this passage is a reminder that God hears and God answers prayer. I love this passage, don't you see? The children of Israel are worried about the army overtaking them and how will they move forward if there's a sea in front of them? And in that moment of desperation, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, God spoke to them. And you may be in that moment of desperation right now. There may be some illness, there may be some grief over a, love, a lost loved one. There may be some confusion as to what your next steps will be and you've been crying out to God. It seems to me that God has a way of creating this moment of desperation in us where we cry out to him, but he calls back on us. We used to sing this song, he may not come when you want him, but he's always right on time. Can I get a witness that God is rarely early? He is usually late, but can I get a witness that when you look back over your life and look at the record, when he did speak, he spoke right on time. And that's good news for us today, that God will speak. Here's the secret of this passage. When God spoke, he was telling them to do something. And I think when you're in trouble, the one thing you don't get to let go of is obedience. Come on, somebody. Because God wants to know that you know that he knows what he's doing. Ha! God wants to know that you know that he knows what he's doing. And sometimes God creates these moments where he's just gonna give you direction. Go talk to her, go tell her I'm sorry. Go to him and do this, go serve this, go take care of this, go bless this homeless person with that. Whatever it is, God's gonna give you direction. And I wanna encourage you in those moments to do what God says do. Ricky, why should I? All I know is that they did what God said do. And God parted Red Seas before them. And maybe you got a Red Sea that needs to be parted. And according to this passage, it don't get parted unless my obedience gets offered up to the Lord. Guys, let's keep on walking through these Red Sea moments, knowing that God can and God will. That is hope for today. I'll see you next time.